emerging tonight about the condition of Jackson's water treatment system. Now, we've learned over a year ago the Environmental Protection Agency sent an emergency executive order demanding the city fix the water system or face hefty fines. Tonight, 3 Near Size David Kenny is live at Jackson City Hall with details on what he has learned today. Dave? And documents provided to us from Jackson Jambalaya shows this emergency executive order was sent to the city of Jackson from the EPA in March. We've heard the city talk about the EPA inspecting the water treatment plants here in the city of Jackson. Now we know what they found. The EPA report was critical, saying Jackson's water treatment plants were being mismanaged, had routine equipment failures, vital positions to monitor water treatment were not staffed, which could lead to water contamination. The report also said that plant conditions present imminent and substantial endangerment to the people served by the system. It also says turbidity, disinfection treatment concerns, condition of the system has potential for presence of E. coli in the water. City council members who just learned about the report a year after it was sent to the city were alarmed. For the administration not to inform us and keep put us in the loop on that, I'm uh, very, very disappointed. We should have had a copy of that report, absolutely. Uh, it's important that we send a message as the city council that we want to be uh, in the know. Councilman Kenneth Stokes says with all the problems the city is having with the water system, it may be better to have someone else manage it. If the city cannot run it properly and we're going to experience these water problems every winter where people go in weeks and months without water, then we need to do something different. If something different means we need to get private companies in here to run our water plant, then so be it. The city is making nearly $5 million in repairs at both of their water treatment plants. Some city leaders now wonder if the system failure during the ice storm could have been avoided if only they knew what the EPA had found. It was a great wake-up call for the city of Jackson delivered by the EPA for the emergency that might lie ahead. And sure enough, we, that we got hit by that emergency, shut down the water system for weeks in some areas of Jackson really disrupted the lives and quality of life of our citizens and the city had been warned about that but the council had not been warned about that and that's really disappointing. Jackson Mayor Shokwe Antar Lumumba sent a letter to the EPA last year saying that the city would comply with that executive order. City council members I talked to say they plan to discuss that with him and talk to him about why they were kept out of the loop at next week's city council meeting. In